Buenas noches. Buenas escuchan? noches. Buenas noches. Vamos a esperar unos minutos para ver que se conecten todos. Bienvenidos al curso de inglés intermedio. Este vamos a estar, bueno, yo les voy a estar ayudando con el curso. Mi nombre es Jorge Asensio y este curso va a ser conversacional, ¿verdad? Va a ser más conversacional. Espero ayudarles eh, pues en lo que pueda en el curso. Creo que ya todos más o menos saben un poco de inglés porque ya están en el intermedio, ¿verdad? Entonces ya cursaron básico y preintermedio, ¿verdad? ¿Así es? Sí, vaya. Entonces, este, vamos a esperar, quiero ver, son 7.56. Vamos a esperar un momento para ver que se conecten todos. Eh, más o menos a esta hora yo me voy a estar conectando como a las 7.55 porque... Este, después tengo otra clase eh, también de intermedio y como a las 9.55 pues yo estaría finalizando la clase, no voy a pensar que la vamos a finalizar antes o nada por el estilo, entonces esta a las 7.55 vamos a empezar y a las 9.55 más o menos vamos a terminar entonces vamos a esperar, creo que ya están conectándose todos hay 13 participantes vamos a ver Buenas noches. Bueno, si quieren pueden conectar las cámaras. Este, vamos a presentarnos unos a uno. Primero yo le quiero, me voy a presentar yo en español. Esta primera parte pues la voy a hacer en español. Ya después vamos a empezar en inglés, ¿verdad? Vamos a evaluar cómo están en inglés. Vamos, no se preocupen. Vamos a evaluar cómo están en inglés, poco a poco, lentamente. Estas clases yo quiero que sean más conversacionales. ¿verdad? Entonces, más para practicar. Yo sé que tienen varias herramientas para practicar el listening, el writing también, pero vamos a ver cómo están de su conversación. Vamos, eso es, vamos a ver cuáles son sus objetivos también. Entonces, voy a comenzar. Quiero ver... Vamos a empezar con las normas nada más, ¿verdad? Acerca de ingreso corporativo. Aquí les voy a poner yo mi nombre. Jorge Asensio. Este es el inglés intermedio módulo 1. Que es de 8 p.m. a 9 p.m. Pero como ya les mencioné anteriormente. Va a ser de más un poquito antes. 7.55 p.m a 8.55, ¿verdad? Para dar un poquito de espacio para que yo pueda ver si todo está bien en la clase para comenzar la siguiente clase. Entonces, vamos a comenzar a las 7.55. Este módulo va a ser de lunes a jueves. Esta semana se va a hacer la excepción porque, pues, ya vieron que con las lluvias, pues, entonces se tuvo que re, eh, suspender la del lunes, pero ya, este... Vamos a reponerle el viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces, el viernes van a tener clase de ahí. Va a ser normal de lunes a jueves. Y va a empezar, el, bueno, el, de este periodo sería del 4 de julio al 28 de julio del 2022. Y ese sería este, el curso que vamos a ver en este momento, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a hacer la presentación. Solo voy a dar un poquito más de información ahorita acerca del curso. Pues... Como ya saben, es necesario obtener el 80% de promedio en las tareas, las tareas que ustedes desarrollan en, pues en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Las evaluaciones también para poder completar el curso. Este, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se les recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Si por alguna razón no están en el grupo de WhatsApp o tienen algún problema, pues lo pueden utilizar, ¿verdad? O pueden, pueden contactar a alguien de inglés corporativo para reportarles eso. Está también, ahí pueden hacer preguntas de las clases, de las tareas que están en la plataforma, alguna sugerencia que ustedes tengan también acerca de la clase, si les gusta más que hagan más ejemplos o más conversaciones, este, etcétera. Ustedes ahí me tienen que ir diciendo y yo lo voy a adaptar a las clases, ¿verdad? Cualquier sugerencia, bienvenida. Entonces, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. 
dice puede adelantar contenido. Si ustedes ya saben cómo a realizarlo, lo pueden adelantar. Dice todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Y el material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Entonces, yo les voy a dar material de apoyo nada más, pero eso es nada más para, para que ustedes tengan algo extra, ¿verdad? Audio. Las tareas, bueno, eh, más o menos se compre, comprende así el, el plan, ¿verdad? Están con secciones, ¿verdad? sección 1 y sección 2, la bueno, semana 1, ¿verdad? Entonces, la sección 1 y la sección 2. La vamos a ver la semana 1, la semana 2, sección 3 y midterm. Oh, semana 3, sí. sección 4. Y semana 4, sección 5 y final exam. Entonces tienen que tener la asistencia de las clases 80%, o sea, tienen que, atender a la, tienen que asistir a las clases, ya que si se fal, faltan una clase, puede que pues ya pierdan el hilo, les va a costar mucho, pues repasar. Pueden preguntar sin problema, pero ustedes tienen que asistir a las clases, ese es el objetivo. ¿verdad? Avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje, de la cámara encendida, ya que tenemos eh, las clases remotas, entonces así en línea. A veces es muy difícil, ¿verdad? Este, como retroalimentación, eh, poder ver si están entendiendo, poder ver si están pues, realizando las actividades. Así que se les dice que prendan la cámara, ¿verdad? Este, también eh, la duración de la clase será 60 minutos. Vamos a trabajar ejercicios en la plataforma de la clase. Eso Más en, en preguntas, ¿verdad? Y después van a obtener su diploma. En este, Mutiate. por favor, Mutiate. también ya vamos a sí. tener las normas acerca de, de las, de cómo podemos tener mejor conversación o mejor, este, para que tengamos todos, pongamos atención también en las clases, este, más o menos eso sería lo que tienen que hacer, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta en este momento acerca de la introducción de las tareas, de las clases, ¿Preguntas? Vaya, vale, ahorita no hay preguntas. Sí. Vale, entonces ya les voy a hacer, sí, ¿alguien ahí habló? Sí, eh, buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Eh, una, una consulta, yo, yo me acabo de conectar, pero Ajá. no sé si será, sería bueno que nos enviara vía digital esta explicación que usted ha dado. O, si es posible, pues. ¿Quiere que le envíe las, la, la presentación? Sí, sí, o sea, lo que ha estado explicando, porque yo me acabo de conectar y, y prácticamente no ha agarrado mayor cosa, pues. Ah, vaya, sí, no se preocupe. Okay. Sí, las okay. clases, estas clases, recuerden que se suben al canal de YouTube de inglés okay. informativo, de inglés corporativo, perdón, y entonces ahí lo van a poder ver siempre las clases, van a poder, si okay. se pierden una clase, ahí la pueden reponer, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. eh, la duración son de 60 minutos y, por favor, en las cámaras tengan el nombre suyo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, alguien puede que se ponga ahí Goku o Florecita de la Pradera, algo así. Entonces, pongan su nombre, ¿verdad? Para poder este, identificarlos y nosotros vamos a poder ahí, pues, hacer las preguntas, etcétera, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos las normas de convivencia. Esto es muy importante y lo vamos a ver. No sé si ya lo habían visto anteriormente, pero lo vamos a ver de nuevo porque este, pues ya que quede claro desde el primer día, ¿verdad? Cómo es que vamos a estar eh, interactuando entre todos. Primero el botón de silencio, ¿verdad? Porque eh, estamos en la casa o estamos donde estamos recibiendo la clase. Puede que haya, pues este cierto sonido a, atrás o background noise o tal vez su hermano, su esposa, esposo, no sé, ¿verdad? El televisor, ¿verdad? Está interrumpiendo y usted tal vez no le ha puesto silencio a su botón, entonces va a interrumpir la clase. Entonces siempre poner silencio y si usted quiere participar, pues usted lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Puede decir, este, disculpe, quisiera, tengo una pregunta, algo, etcétera. Puede levantar la mano también, etcétera. Este, la lista de asistencia, pues en este caso, nada más decirle de que no falten a las clases, eh, sigan asistiendo, ¿verdad? 
como les decía, tener su nombre completo en la cámara, ¿verdad? No ningún otro nombre, sino que su nombre completo, tener la cámara encendida y tener participación activa, ¿verdad? Como yo les decía o mencionaba anteriormente, estas clases más que todo de conversación, ¿verdad? Vamos a tratar de que ustedes hablen inglés, de que practiquen el inglés, ya que escribirlo y estar así este, en videoconferencia, creo que sería, sí lo podemos hacer, podemos hacer algunos ejercicios, pero más que todo sería de, eh, de hablar, ¿verdad? De ver cómo están en eso para ver qué errores tienen. Y luego está, pues, el uso de chats. Ahí pueden ocupar el chat, también pueden escribirme por WhatsApp si tienen algún problema. Y siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Eso es muy importante, ya que ustedes tienen que, pues, aunque alguna persona tenga alguna otra opinión, siempre hay que dirigirse de manera respetuosa, ¿verdad? Y también eh, con el ruido de atrás, ¿verdad? Esa es parte del respeto. Este, siempre, pues, tener el botón en silencio y que no sea ningún ruido o bulla, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a regresar al principio. Como yo les decía, mi nombre es Jorge Asensio y voy a, a ayudarles en, en este curso intermedio, ¿verdad? En, quiero ver si puedo ver cuántos participantes hay. Bueno, parece que son bastantes. Vamos a, a ver, vamos a ir uno por uno. Nos vamos a presentar porque para que todos nos conozcamos, para que todos veamos este, cómo es que vamos a, a proceder en las siguientes clases, pues tenemos que tener más confianza, ¿verdad? Entonces, primero, no sé si lo quieren hacer en, en, en español o en inglés, si ustedes quieren practicar el inglés desde ya, lo pueden hacer. Primero, what's your name, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Name. Where are you from? Porque estamos en El Salvador, es un país chiquito, pero este, hay de diferentes partes. Entonces, vamos a ver de dónde son. Y what are your expectations? What do you expect from the program? ¿verdad? ¿De qué, ¿Por qué están aprendiendo inglés? ¿Qué esperan ustedes de estas clases? Aprender más inglés o practicar su inglés, si ya lo saben. Aplicar para otra plaza, viajar. ¿Cuál es su objetivo de aprender inglés? Eso es lo que vamos a ver en este momento. Entonces, lo vamos a hacer rápidamente. Este, como yo les dije, my name is Jorge Asensio. You can call me George. You can call me Mr. Uh, Jorge, Mr. George, Mr. Asensio. Uh, it is up to you. And I am from Santa Ana, right? I am from Santa Ana. I've been living also in Santa Tecla and also in San Salvador. But right now I am in Santa Ana. And what are my expectations? My expectations are for you to practice, for you to participate, to learn, and to have a good time, right? Porque este es, yo sé que es un sacrificio extra que están haciendo, que algunos están cansados, que estudian, que trabajan. Así que tratemos de sacar provecho de este tiempo. Entonces vamos a, a seguir con la siguiente persona, el siguiente estudiante. Y voluntarios para que se puedan presentar con el grupo, por favor. ¿Algún voluntario? Ok, teacher. Ok. Hi. Ok, what's your name? My name is Luis Díaz. Mm -hmm. Y I'm from to Chalatenango. Mm -hmm. so, I live in Chalatenango. Y... And in this moment is is very strong the rain. Yes. Yes. Um, what are my expectation? Mm -hmm. um, my goal is better knowledge um, of the language mm -hmm. because uh, create a very um most um, um, um friends mm -hmm. and i need practice more you need practice more you have friends yes. who yes. speak english a little bit but uh, and you want I to want practice to... more english yes. with your I, friends I, I, ah, yes, okay with my friends 
So it's to talk okay. with your friends. Okay, that's what you want to do. Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Rias from nice Chalatenango. And it's a pleasure. Okay. Now, quiero ver, Me ahí too. está Griselda. Okay, Griselda Mendoza. Okay. You can introduce yourself, Griselda, if you want to. Good night. Uh, my name is Griselda. I am teacher. Mm -hmm. And a, I am happy for studying the English. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are you from? Okay. I am Ilopango. I am from Ilopango. Ilopango, okay. How is the weather in Ilopango? <laughs> I I forget the weather. The weather, like if it is raining. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's uh, hot. Uh huh. Uh, rain, rain, raining. It's raining. Uh, from, from. Okay. Strong. Heavily, it's raining heavily, right? Okay, heavily. very good. Okay. And what are your expectations, Griselda, for these classes? What do you want to do with the English that you want to learn? Uh, uh, I am speak English and fluid mm -hmm. uh, for for conversation in in English. Is uh, with with uh, facilmente easily. How do uh -huh. you say facilmente? Easily. Is Easily, 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 easily. Yes, easily. Okay. Entonces, I am speak English easy, easily, easily. Mm -hmm. Easily, yeah. Es, eh, en, 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 anywhere. Mm -hmm. Es, eh, with, with people speak English. Uh, you, you plan to travel abroad? <laughs> you plan to travel abroad? Va a viajar a otro país para hablar inglés con otras personas o? Eh, no, I am dreaming ese como ese como se dice how do you say uh -huh. eh, enseñar English? Ajá, uh -huh. teach English. To teach uh -huh. English. Sí. Este sería para eso. Eh, I am teach English with este, uh, children o, o young, young, young children. Young children. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to teach English to young children? Eh, you no. will be a teacher. Sorry? You will be a teacher for children? I am teacher. Oh, you the already teacher. Oh, okay, kindergarten. Okay. Yeah. Pre-K. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Griselda, uh, from Ilopango. Yeah. And good night. Uh, we are going to practice more. Okay, no problem. El siguiente, next one. ¿Quién va a ser? Natalia. Okay, Natalia. Introduce yourself. Natalia, are you there? No? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my name is Natalia Hueso. Mm -hmm. I'm from uh, Santo Tomas. Mm -hmm. uh, my expectation uh, this class is to speak English fluency mm -hmm. or to understand and to and understand more English. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, nice to meet you, Natalia. Okay, now next one. It's Levi or a Levi? Hello, uh, you, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, my name is Levi. Levi, where are you from, Levi? Yeah, uh, I'm from to Berlin, Sudan, and there is too cold. Normally it's raining, in this day, uh, what uh, which are my expectations? 
Well, uh, I need to learn and practice a little bit more my English. Also, I had to, I want, sorry, I want to have another opportunities of work of speaking with another people. And I'm so excited to be in this group and I, I, I'm wait for have a great friendship with these people. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Levy, from Usulu Town, right? Okay, very good. Now, next one. Who wants to participate? Who wants to introduce yourself or themselves? Next one. Andrea, okay, Andrea. Okay, good evening. Good evening. My name is Andrea, mm -hmm. and I'm from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. And currently, my one of my goals is maybe improve my English skills because mm -hmm. in the future I would like to get a, a job in a call center, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to move to another country with my family. So. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. So very good. And where are you from? Sorry. San Salvador. San Salvador. Yeah. Okay, Andrea. Nice to meet you. You have a very good English. Congratulations. Yes. Okay. Very good. Next one. Who wants to introduce? What's your name, sir? Sorry. Yeah. What's your name? <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Who's talking? Okay, quien se quiere uh, presentar? My, my, okay, my name is Luis. Okay, Luis Vasquez, right? Can you hear me? Yes. Luis Enriquez. Luis Enriquez, okay. Yes. My name is Luis Enriquez. I am from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. And currently I live in Mexicanos in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, my my expectation is uh, finish this course <coughs> uh, of English mm -hmm. to learn more and uh, to talk with another persons in, in English mm -hmm. uh, more fluency. Yeah. More fluently. And, yeah, and also uh, I can get a new or better job to earn more money, okay. Okay, so your expectation is to practice, to be better in English, uh, to speak fluently and to get a better job. Okay, very yeah. good. Okay, yeah, nice to meet you, you, Luis Enriquez. Next one, next person who wants to introduce themselves. All right, good evening. Good, good evening. Well, my name is Hugo Roberto. I am from Costa Rica, but I live here in El Salvador. Okay. Well, my situation is, uh, is about that I want to practice my English with some with some new people and and to know some new words because my career requires much knowledge in English. Okay. What is your career? Where are you studying? Computer science. Computer science. Very good. Okay. You are yeah. Hugo, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. Okay, very good. I yes, I wasn't able to understand because your the writing of your name was kind of weird, but okay, very good. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, right. next one is Chrisia, right? Okay, introduce yourself, Chrisia, please. Hi guys, good evening. And my last name is Jovet. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Asaya City. And my expectations are I want to learn more. Mm -hmm. I want to practice, practice, practice. Basically, I want to improve my English skills. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to learn a lot. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Chrisia. Okay, let's have Liliana. Liliana, nice to meet you. 
Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, this is Liliana. I live in Santo Tomas. Mm -hmm. And about my expectations about this course, first of all, is um, enhance my abilities, like have a better understanding and enhance my vocabulary. And as a, a short term goal, I would like to get a better position in the company. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Liliana. Okay, let's have the next one. Guess is Stella, right? Hi, teacher. My name is Stella Lara. Uh, I, at the moment, I live in San Miguel. Later, I will live in San Salvador. My expedition okay. is, expedition is I learn more and ampliar un poquito más mi conocimiento, un poco mucho más. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's it. To learn more English, right? Yes. You're from San Miguel, right? Uh, for the moment, sí. Okay, right now. And later, to San Salvador. Cucatancingo, San Salvador. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Stella. Very good. Next one is it's uh, Patricia. Introduce yourself, Patricia. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My name is Patricia. I'm from La Libertad. And my expectations are to be a bilingual person and to work as a cabin crew for Qatar Airways, Airways Airlines. Okay. So that's your expectation, that's your goal, to go to Qatar yeah. Airways, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Very good. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Now we have Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, you can introduce okay. yourself. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Um, this is Gabriela Cortez. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from San Salvador. Uh, right now I live in Mexicanos. Mm -hmm. And my expectation is uh, improve my English. Mm -hmm. And I better my, my fluency. Okay, to have better fluency. So that's your expectation. Very good. Nice to meet you, Gabriela. Next one is uh, Jenny. Let's have Jenny. Good evening. My name is Jenny Sanchez. I live in Soyapango. My expectation for this course are to improve my pronunciation and comprehension. Comprehension. Very good. Nice to meet you, Jenny. Okay, let's have Astrid. Introduce yourself, Astrid. Hi, everyone. My name is Astrid Flores. Um, I'm from San Salvador and I was studying English at the University of El Salvador, but for, for personal reason, I, I, I had to stop. So with this course, I want to improve my English and get a job in close relation with my career. Okay, very good, very good. Nice to meet you, Street. Let's see, Carla Veronica. Okay, introduce yourself, Carla. Good night. My name is Carla Ayala, and I am from La Libertad, Zaragoza. Mm -hmm. Y mis expectativas son <laughs> aprender más el inglés porque me ha gustado mucho y pues deseo aprender. Entonces esa es. Okay, you just want to learn, right? Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Carla. Next one, Angela. Angela, are you there? Yes, right. Okay, introduce yourself. Good evening. My name is Angela Morales. I'm from La Paz. Well, my expectation, uh, the first goal is to practice my English skills to improve and also to uh, practice the, the another three skills to feel involved with the language and yes, to practice all about English. Okay, very good practice. Very good. Nice to meet you, Angela. Nice to meet you. Okay, now we have Bal, Balmore, right? Hello, do you hear me? Yes. 
Well, hello, good evening. My name is Balmore. <clears throat> I am from San Vicente, but nowadays I live in San Salvador. My expectations, expectations are, I would like to get a job in English like old center, Sarah, and I would like to improve my English, more vocabulary, my skills, etc. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Balmore. Nice to meet you too. Okay, and the next one we have Patricia, I guess is the last one, right? No, we have more. Let's see. Everybody has introduced themselves or is someone, is someone missing? Okay. Okay, so I, I have listened to you and I've uh, heard your your English, some of you have very good English, actually. Uh, congratulations for that, because probably you have been practicing and you have had like different, like, I don't know, experiences, right? Where you can practice your English. And some others, uh, well, we have some differences in the level, but don't worry about that. What you have to do is just focus on your language, right? Focus on yourself. Veo que tienen diferentes eh, niveles, hay diferentes, casi todos están pues casi en el nivel en el que estamos, en el intermedio. Puede que haya alguien que hable más o que tenga más conocimiento del inglés, pero no se preocupen, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos para aprender y tienen que, como ustedes dicen, practicar y así van a tener más las, las habilidades que ustedes mencionaron anteriormente. Entonces, eh, vamos a comenzar. Eh, ya con la clase, ¿verdad? Sería este el objetivo primero de la primera clase que vamos a tener. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Okay, el objetivo es ese, ¿verdad? El pasado. ¿Algún, um, ¿Alguno de ustedes ya ocupó la, la plataforma? Have you used the platform? Have you checked it? Yes, uh, Yes. Okay, what do you do there, Mr. Luis Urias? Mm, I uh, I look the 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 picture and uh, the positive statement mm -hmm. and the structure subject plus verb plus complement uh, mm -hmm. and the other uh, when the the first the first time it say. Let me see here. I am. Um, yes. Yes. And um, example. I look at the example uh, in the in the it was afternoon. Okay. Uh, so you look at examples about the statements, about the formulas. Yes. Very good. Yes. That's what we're going to review right now, right? We're going to review. Um Sometimes I speak a little bit fast. So if you need me to repeat or to slow down, because sometimes I, I go very fast, just let me know, right? Teacher, please uh, slow down or teacher, please like repeat. Okay, no problem. I will repeat it. Okay, but sometimes I tend to, to do that. So just ask me and I, I will repeat it and I, I will slow it down. Okay, so we are going to, check the past tense in the platform we have that information that is just uh, some sentences right for example where were you born or where you born in buenos aires right let me see here i guess you will be able to see better in that way and also we have um when did you move to los angeles Did you take English classes in Argentina? So first is an introduction. Primero es una presentación, ¿verdad? Con preguntas. Ya vamos a empezar a, a practicarlo. But first, it's really important 
this is this is what I, I used to do when I was uh, like learning or like studying uh, learning English, like uh, formulas, right? That really helped me a lot. I don't know if if you if you find it like useful, but for me it was really useful. Para mí fue fácil con fórmulas. Por ejemplo, aquí hay una fórmula. It says positive statements. And it says subject plus verb plus complement. Okay, so subject, what can can you tell me like examples of subjects? What are examples of subjects like the pronouns? Do you know the pronouns? What are the you pronouns? Are you are we we they they she she we very good, very good. So those are pronouns that, that those can be used as subject, right? They, we, you. So uh, we have the subject here plus the verb, the verb plus complement. So since we are studying the past, the verb will be in the past, right? Do you know regular verbs, any regular verbs? Do you know that? What what is a regular verb? The verb is take. Uh huh. What is a regular verb? Who knows? The regular is take. <clears throat> okay, Luis, uh, you have the answer? You have like an idea? You're talking there's a positive statement, right? Mm -hmm. Positive statements, yes. Let's remember that regular verbs we have in past, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? Regular verbs are the ones that doesn't change that much in the past, right? We put or we write it an D or an ED at the end. And re irregular verbs are where they change completely in the past. Did you know that? Yes, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So we have two verbs here. Um, a regular verb, moved. Moved is a regular verb. And an irregular verb, that is... Took. What is the present of took? Take. Take. Very good. So that's what you have to learn. That's what you have to start learning right now. Uh, I don't know if you know some of them, but if you start learning uh, like two or three every day, you will learn a lot of verbs, right? Regulars and irregulars. The irregulars are the, mo the most difficult ones, right? So I have here the positive statement and it says subject plus verb plus complement. I moved here 10 years ago. I took English classes for a year. So that is just a formula, but we can use that formula with different words, right? It is the same for every sentence, like a positive statement in the past is the same. As you can see at the end of the complement, we have a, a different different uh, words, right? Here 10 years ago, English classes for a year, but it's the same, the same order. So you just need to follow the order, okay? Questions about this? No, right? It's really easy. Okay, very good. Let's move on because we just have some minutes. We have negative statements. And negative statements, we have another formula, right? Probablemente ya vieron esto en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Tenemos otra fórmula para las negativas, las oraciones negativas. Is the subject plus didn't plus verb plus complement, right? And we have an example there. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. Um... What, who can tell me why the, um, the verb is in, in present if we are talking in the past? Why is it in, in the present tense? The present, teacher, the present, uh, the verb speak, mm -hmm. by example, is 
because uh, Heba didn't no no change the verb. Exactly. It's impressive. Exactly. Exactly. Because we use an auxiliary, right? Yes. The auxiliary is didn't. didn't. Entonces, para las oraciones negativas usamos un auxiliar. ¿Cómo se llama el auxiliar? Didn't, ¿verdad? Didn't. didn't. Cuando ocupamos didn't, el verbo no se pasa a pasado, sino que se queda en presente. Entonces, para las negativas, las oraciones negativas, siempre va a ser igual. Siempre va a ser lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, subject, didn't, el verbo en presente, y luego el complement. Es bien fácil. Entonces, si seguimos la fórmula, no importa qué tan larga sea la oración, siempre va a seguir esta estructura. Entonces, recuerden con el auxiliar didn't, el verbo va en presente. Y las preguntas, ¿verdad? Como sabemos, tenemos dos tipos de preguntas. Tenemos las preguntas, las WH questions y las yes, no questions, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es? What is a WH question? What is that? What is the characteristic that you know about WH questions? Give information. They ask for information. They request for information, right? They request, um, for example, places, reasons, uh, information in general, etc. right? Entonces, las preguntas WH o las que llevan palabras WH van a pedir más información, un lugar, un tiempo, etc. Entonces, uh, can somebody tell me the WH words that you know? What are the WH words that you know? Griselda, Natalia, Angela, Liliana. Do you know? How, what, How, where, what, why, why, mm -hmm. where, where, where. Mm -hmm. When, uh, ah, when. Mm -hmm. when, exactly, when. How. Mm -hmm. How, exactly. Very good. Very good. So we have different WH questions, right? Different WH words. Entonces tenemos how, que es, como, ¿verdad? When, cuando, where, donde. Entonces preguntan información extra. The example there, it says, when did you move to Los Angeles? When, que es, cuando, ¿verdad? When did you move to Los Angeles? ¿Cuándo te mudaste a Los Ángeles? Entonces, ahí tenemos otro auxiliar, another auxiliary, right? What is the auxiliary? Did. Did. Okay. After did is the subject. We already know that the subject can be you, she, um, uh, Natalia, right? Different, right? Subject. So, after did is the subject. And then the verb. The verb is in past or in present? Present. Present. Why? Because Why is it in present? we use uh, the auxiliary did. Exactly. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you. Because we use the auxiliary did. So if we use the auxiliary did, the, the verb is in present. So questions and negative statements, it's in present, right? because of the auxiliary. And then the complement, right? Move to Los Angeles. Did you take English classes in Argentina? Over there is missing the question mark, but um, it's another question, right? So, entonces, eso es lo que explicaba la plataforma, ¿verdad? Um, no sé si, I don't know if you have questions, Griselda or Natalia or Angela, because you have your hand like this raised. You're raising your hands. No teacher. No? No, no teacher. Okay. Very good. I guess someone is missing to introduce themselves. I know who this person is, but I will I will leave this person for the end, okay, to have like a little bit of feedback. So uh, tenemos el pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces, el pasado es ese. Quiero ver. Ya vamos a practicar. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos. Here we have more examples. Where did you go to middle school? You check the auxiliary there, and then you check the, the present, the, the verb you cannot see very well, but it's go, it's in present, right? When did you first uh, study English? Did you have a pet when you were a child? Who was your hero when you were a child? Entonces, 
Uh, ahorita acabamos de repasar positive statements, negative statements, yes, no questions, WH questions, regular verbs, irregular verbs, and also pronouns, right? So you already know that you have all that knowledge with you. I, because I guess that you don't have questions. So we have auxiliary did for questions and didn't for negative questions, right? And if you use the auxiliary did, the verb will be in the present, right? So entonces para negativos es el didn't, para preguntas es did, ¿verdad? Recuerden eso, no se vayan a confundir. Don't get confused. Now we are going to practice. Now we are going to practice. Um, let me see here. I would like I would like it to be like uh, in volunteers or volunteering because in this case you will be able to, to practice. I don't want to uh, put a lot of pressure on you. So we are going to practice a little bit. It says transform the following sentences and questions into the past tense. The first one says she goes to the school. She goes to the school. Vaya, le vamos a transformar esa en pasado. Si ustedes tienen un libro, un cuaderno, están escribiendo en la computadora, lo pueden hacer ahí y me lo pueden decir, ¿verdad? Ok, volunteers, who wants to do the first one? Volunteers, only one. To, did, did she, did she go, she, did she go to the school? Okay. Now we we are we are not uh, we don't want the 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 question we just want to transform it right we don't want the question this is not the answer it's just a statement it's a positive statement she goes to the school but it's in present now I want the same statement but in past a positive statement remember the formula do you remember the formula okay put into pack put it put it into practice. Remember the formula? Write the same formula. First is subject, right? What is the subject? She. She, very good. Then the verb. What is the verb? Go. When. When. Exactly, it's when. when. She went. She went to And then the, the complement. The complement is to the school. You see, it's yes. easy, right? If we follow the formula, it's easy. She went and then the complement to the school. Now, the number two. He doesn't play video games. Use the formula. She he doesn't play video games. In past, he, in the past, he, he didn't. He, he didn't, didn't play, play, play video, games. video games. Exactly the same formula, right? For negative statements, subject plus the auxiliary didn't plus the verb in present play and the complement video games. Very good. Number three. I eat chicken with fries. I ate chicken with fries. Very good. I ate. What is the pass eat. of eat? Eight, eight. right? Eight. eight. I ate chicken with fries. Number four. We play music in the party. We play it. Music we in play. the party. We Very played. good. We played. Exactly. We it's played. a regular verb, right? Regular. Yes. So we just add ed. We played music in the party. Number five. The band don't march on the parade. The band didn't march on the parade. The band didn't, right? Okay, here yeah. it was it was doesn't. Sorry, sorry for that. It was doesn't, right? The band doesn't march on the parade. Now in the past is didn't exactly. And now we have a question. Is your mother at home? Was your mother at home? Was your mother at home? Okay, very good. ¿Por qué no lleva did? ¿Por qué no lleva el auxiliar la número seis? Is double is is a question. Is a what? A question. It's a question. Yes, it's a it's question. It's a verb to be. Is the verb to be very good, yes, Rufino? To be, to be. Very good, Rufino. Thank you. Is the verb to be, and with the verb to be, we follow uh, the structure, the formula. But in this case, is was right. We just change the verb to be into the past. 
we don't add the auxiliary. Auxiliary is for other verbs, but the verb to be. So is was your mother at home? Very good. Okay, vamos a ver. Aquí le voy a poner en pantalla la respuesta. These are the answers, okay? Let me see here if I can show it to you. So we have, she went to the school. He didn't play video games. I ate chicken with fries. We played music with in the party. The band didn't march on the parade. Was your mother at home? And those are the, that, that, that was the last one actually. We have a chat here. She went to the school. Okay, very good, exactly. She went to the school. Thank you for participating, Balmore. Now we have another activity. I know that you are busy, right? That you're during the day, you have different activities that you have to do. And we are going to do this like half of this activity. We are preparing it. We will prepare it here. And the other half, and the other half we will prepare it uh, at home, right? In your free time. But we are going to start here. I want you to write five things you did yesterday or during the day. Use the past tense to create your own sentences. Example, today I went to my job at seven o'clock or yesterday I went to the park with my family. Entonces, ¿cuántas cosas van a escribir? Five, right? Think, cinco. ¿Qué van a escribir? Cosas que hicieron el día anterior. Vamos a empezar en este momento y vamos a, a, a dejar que algunos participen. Y este, los que falten, vamos a pasarlos para el día de mañana. Entonces, eh, no sé quién quiere participar. Algo que hayan hecho durante el fin de semana, por ejemplo, o que hicieron ayer. Tell me five things that you did yesterday or the previous day uh, during the weekend. Five things that you did with your family or you did alone or with you did in your job. Who wants to participate? Okay, teacher. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday I went to the lake with my family and my friend. Mm -hmm. And today I, I, I went to cut could the cup. Could be called and cortar eh, los cabos. Cortar los cabos. What sí, is that? A las vacas. What is a cabo? Oh. What is cabo. a cabo? Cachos. Oh, the horns. You cut the horns. horns? Yes, today I went to the, cut the horns to my cow. You cut the horns? Why did you yes. do that? Um, because it's, it's very long, so long, and I want to, I need to cut uh, because uh, with the the cow, uh -huh. push push the stomachache, the other cow. The other cow had a stomachache. Yes. Okay, and that's bad if the if a cow has long horns, is is yes. that bad? Why? Um I want to cut the 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 cow uh -huh. in with the, at three o'clock more at or less. Okay. Yes. Okay, but you got my, my question, right? You got my question. Mr. Rodriguez? Excuse me? <laughs> Did you get my question? <laughs> sí, uh, Tengo... oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Por, in in por Spanish, mí. in Spanish, in Spanish. Okay. Uh, I understood that you cut the horns, cortó los cuernos de la vaca. Sí. sí. ¿Por qué? Why? 
porque eh, se golpean y se golpean la, el, el estómago más que todo y unas se rasgan, o sea, se cortan. Entonces, pero no es todas, so only three or four. Okay. Okay, yes. I got it. Yeah, okay. I understood the stomach. Okay. I thought that because of the horns, they had like stomach, <laughs> but now they get violent, right? Between them. Violent. Yes. Okay. okay. Get violent. Very good. And that's all. That's all that you did, Mr. Rias? Yes. That's all. Okay. Very good. We Thank have you. time for another participant who wants to participate. Andrea? <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to talk about my daily routine. Okay. Yesterday, like every day, I wake up, wake up early because I have classes and I went to my job mm -hmm. and I prepared my breakfast. I took a shower and in the afternoon, I spent time with my family and with my little sister because I helped to my little sister with her homework. Mm -hmm. And at night, I have more classes in the university. So basically this was my, my day yesterday. Okay, so you wake up, You what, what is your job about? Um, accounting. Accounting. You, yes. you, you work in, so, a, in an enterprise as an accountant? No. Yes, but in the, how do you say despacho contable? Despacho. Uh, contable. Let me see here because those are like technic, technic, technicalities. Despacho contable. Uh, despacho contable is like accounting firm. Accounting firm. Accounting okay. firm. Yes. So you yeah. work. You are good with numbers. Yes. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. I'm not good with numbers. Sorry. Okay. Very good. <laughs> very good. Let's see who else. Angela, Alicia Morales. Yes. Well, um, yesterday I visited my uncle. On Sunday, I went to the church and also I did some home, uh, my homework from the university. On Saturday, I watched some movies and also I did some church, church at home. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, thank you. Okay, we're about to finish the class. And we are going to start tomorrow with Balmore, with Liliana, with Estela. I want you to prepare your five sentences. We are going to continue. And we are going to give you the feedback, okay? I understood your, your sentences, Mr. Rias. But some, I understand that it's kind of complicated to express yourself with a uh, language that you don't hear in English, right? For example, vacas, cuernos, eh, que se golpean entre ellas, they hit each other. Entonces yes. tenemos que uh, recordar, ¿verdad? Palabras o tratar de traducir o, o practicar nuestro día a día, porque a veces eso es yes. lo que vamos a, a decir. Y a veces okay. nos sorprendemos, por ejemplo, accounting firm, por ejemplo, un departamento de contabilidad, accounting firm, right? We don't know how to say that. We don't see that mm -hmm. in movies or in books, right? But it's good to investigate mm -hmm. more about ourselves. We begin with our experiences. So also um, we need to be careful with some words um, also in the past, right? The pronunciation of regular verbs uh, visited, I visited. Visit is a regular verb and ends with ed, but it's visited, right? Visited, visited. visited. Uh, also, I watched is another regular verb, but I don't say watch it. No, I don't say wash because wash is wash the clothes, right? Wash um, the dishes, do the dishes, right? Uh, but watch, we have to pronounce watch, right? Very, that would be uh, better. And we are not going to mix the meaning of the words, right? Wash and watch, two different words. And shorts, right? Shorts is okay, uh, but church is different, right? Shorts is the house shorts, lo que hacemos en la casa. House shorts. Uh, iglesia, how do you say iglesia? Church, right? 
church. So, so you have to put emphasis on that word, church. Okay, that's it. So I guess that that will be all for today. I guess Rufino didn't introduce himself and also another person who was really early in the class, I guess was Patricia, Veronica. Patricia, where are you from, Patricia? I'm, I'm from is Lower de Colón. Lower de Colón, nice to meet you. And what, are, what yes. are your expectations from this class? My expectation is um, learn more English. Very good, very good. Nice to meet you, Patricia. I'm sorry mm -hmm. that I forgot you at the beginning, but uh, how, what do you think about the class? It was a good class, so so. No entendí. <laughs> yes. Lo siento. No, don't worry. <laughs> eh, ¿Qué pienso de la clase? Estuvo bien, good, so good. so, good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So remember, if you have suggestions, sugerencias, let me know. Mañana okay. vamos a comenzar con la misma actividad y vamos a, tal vez no participen todos, pero quiero que participe la mayoría, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, mucho gusto en conocerlos a todos. Y nos vemos hasta mañana, ¿verdad? Recuerden practicar su inglés, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. You too. Thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you, bye. Bye, bye.